Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to upgrade from one SSD to a bigger one. I know I've done tons of disk cloning videos before, but this time I want to get into more detail. I'll walk you through every step from installing the SSD, cloning it to what you need to do after the clone. After watching this, you'll pretty much have the whole cloning process down. So subscribe and let's get started. First, we need to get a bigger SSD. What I'm holding here is an M2 NVMe SSD and today I'll be using this along with my laptop as an example. Now you can install it inside your computer if you've got two M2 slots. If not, no worries. You can use an external NVMe enclosure or a SATA to USB adapter to connect the SSD to your computer. For desktops, the options are pretty much the same. And don't forget to label your drives to avoid confusion later. I've mixed up before, don't be like me. After you connect the SSD, let's check if your computer recognizes it. You can do this by right-clicking the Start menu and selecting Disk Management. In this window, you should see the new disk. If it's a brand new drive, it would ask you to initialize it. If you're unsure about the other options here, you can just close the prompt because the cloning software I'm going to introduce later will take care of everything automatically. So you don't need to worry about those extra steps. Now that the drive is set up and recognized, let's get to why you're here today, cloning the hard drive. For this, you can download Eza's disk copy. It's the same software that I've been using in my previous videos, and I really like how it's clean, simple interface gives you a clear, intuitive idea of what you're doing and what next step is. Although it's a paid program, it clones pretty fast and the whole process is super safe, so you don't have to worry about losing any data. I've put the download link down in the description so you can get it from here. All right, let's open it up. You can see that there are three modes listed on the left. I'll quickly help you distinguish between disk mode and system mode since they're pretty much similar. They both clone the entire hard drive, but disk mode is mainly for cloning data drives, while system mode is for cloning drives that contain the Windows operating system on them. Just like what we're doing today, I want to clone my whole SSD, including the Windows system and all the other data, and I wish my computer can boot from the new larger SSD after after it's done, so we choose system mode here. Now, this software automatically detects the hard drive where your Windows is installed and selects it for you. Like I said, it makes the whole process really intuitive. Here you can see my computer is running on Windows 11 and it shows that my target hard drive needs about 370 GB. I don't have to worry about that though since my new SSD is 1 terabyte. So now all I have to do is pick the target disk, the SSD I just installed and then click next. Next, you'll be given some disk layout options and in most cases, just stick with the default auto fit the disk. But if you want the partitions to match the original SSD exactly, you can choose copy as the source. You can see the software provides a preview of each disk layout option so you can get a better idea of how this could be. Keep in mind, this might leave some unallocated space and in that case, you'll need to go into disk management to manually handle it. There's also an edit disk layout option that lets you customize partition sizes. But I don't recommend beginners mess with that since mistakes could cause unnecessary headaches. So let's just go with auto fit and proceed. Ooh, and here comes the warning. This will erase everything on your target drive. If your target SSD is brand new, just ignore this. But if there are important files on it, don't forget to back them up and then click continue. Now, this will take about 10 to 30 minutes or even hours depending on your data. So let's just fast forward. All right. The clone is done. You can see my new SSD has an exact copy of all the data with nothing missing. Now let's check if my computer can boot from the new SSD. So let's restart my PC first. When you see the manufacturer's logo, press the BIOS key to enter the BIOS menu. Usually it's F2, F12 or Dell, depending on your computer. All right, we're in. Now look for something like boot priority or boot order. That's where we change the boot sequence. And here we are. Now select your new SSD as the boot drive, then save and exit. Then let's wait and see what happens. Great, the computer booted up successfully, which means we've successfully cloned the SSD. If you got it working too, please subscribe and hit the like button to support me. If not, leave a comment below. I'll do my best to help you out. We love hearing from you. Until next time.